Over the past few years, we have seen so many examples of attractive fictional female characters being toned down, whether it's in Hollywood or the video game industry, but now we're finding out that the Red Sonia star Matilda Lutz is slamming the source material for being made with a very male-gazed orientation. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. A lot of people were initially very excited to hear that they were doing this movie because even though we've gotten a lot of pretty bad comic book adaptations over the years, there still have been some that have been really, really good and people were super we're super hopeful that this would end up being at least half decent because we've got a beautiful woman in the lead. We've got a character who, yes, is very strong, but can also be um, very soft at times. Somebody who can uh, lean on other people, understands that sometimes she can't do everything alone, but that is definitely not as what is happening with this movie because according to its star, Matilda Lutz, the upcoming Red Sonia film will be seeking to abandon in the male-gazed orientation of its heroine's previous and original adventures in favor of a narrative that is overall very women-empowered. I feel like most pieces of content now that star females, whether we are talking about video games or movies or TV shows, happen to be very women-empowered. I'm getting sick and tired of it. While there are definitely times where you have to have female characters that are empowered, it is not a bad thing to have a damsel in distress or just have a feminine woman, someone who is softer. They do not all have to be Rey Skywalkers. They do not all have to be Captain Marvels. And unfortunately, that is what we are seeing with so many pieces of content. And now this movie... It says, Lutz, who audiences may best know for her starring roles in 2017's Revenge and 2021's Zone 414, offered this insight into the chainmail bikini-clad warrior's next cinematic outing while speaking to TBR's Tessa Smith ahead of the South by Southwest premiere of her new film, Magpie. Of course, no more can we have sexy female characters. Even though she, of course, was hired to play this female, and if she felt uncomfortable playing a chainmail bikini-clad woman, she could have declined the role or not, you know, auditioned for it in the first place. Now she's admitting that they were planning to change her from the start. It says, pressed by Smith for any and all information she could tease about the film, the actress asserted, so what I can tell about Red is that the first ones in the comics were made with a very male-gazed orientation. This is a completely different story, and it's very woman-empowered, which I loved about the script, meaning in no way, shape, or form is it actually going to be the movie we all expected. In no way, shape, or form is this going to be the Red Sonia we've known of the past or her story that we've known in the past. They are straight up admitting that this is going to be a completely different unique story and we see with live action adaptations how poorly these always go because you want to get those comic book fans watching your film you want to get them hyped up and interested and by ditching the source material and by ditching what made this character yes in a lot of ways very appealing to the eye you are forcing away consumers they go on about how, you know, the original comics was very much male gaze oriented. Why is that a bad thing? Why is it a negative thing to have a target audience who you know will purchase your product? Yes, Red Sonia is a extremely attractive female character and that should not be a negative thing. We, at this point, don't know exactly what the changes are going to be, but when you have these people already coming out announcing to the world that it's going to be different, that's when you know you should be worried. But, unfortunately for fans of the hero, this is not the first time that this next Red Sonia has thrown up such a red flag regarding its narrative direction, because speaking to Variety, the film scribe, Tasha Huo, who, by the way, was also the writer for The Witcher Blood Origin, or one of them, and that was god-awful, 
teased that Red Sonia would provide audiences with both stories of great female friendship as well as a glimpse into how women uniquely survive out in the world. I'm fine with there being very emotional female friendships in pieces of content, but this just screams to me that they wanted to have this new feminist take on Red Sonia, and they didn't understand the source or wanted to completely disregard it in the first place. But one major change that we do know for a fact that they are making is that despite the film offering such a darker take, its director, MJ Bassett, has confirmed that it will abandon perhaps one of the most harrowing elements of her 1980 silver screen adventure her sexual assault by a gang of bandits and they're basically saying that i have no interest in fictional women who use rape as an engine of motivation it's not a strong motivation it's just a human being in the world of femininity so not only are we now you know finding out that they are disregarding very important and critical elements of her story because it makes them uncomfortable, but it's going to be a darker take. It's going to be almost, you know, this feminist take on Red Sonia. It just does not seem like this movie is going to have much of an audience already. And that's even if they come out with this because this had been rumored for years before it was actually greenlit in 2023. So, there is still a chance that this could end up being a complete dud, that they could end up abandoning it and shelving it and completely forgetting about it. And at this point, I think that that would probably be the best case scenario. We are only hearing these very questionable things. And again, I'm fine with seeing a strong female lead in a piece of content, but unfortunately, that is all they are turning her to be. And that means desexualizing her, not allowing her to have that sexuality and that femininity which yes did make her you know pretty well loved and pretty uh admired by the male audiences that made her books popular in the first place because of course they're saying well we don't want to sexualize these characters and ultimately we we want to move away from what made the original comics popular which was the male gazed orientation which of course is absurd it is not a bad thing to have a target audience and in this case yes the the men who want to look at her the concept of the male gaze is of course ridiculous i love looking at her there are many men that love looking at her that's not the male gaze that's just simply the human gaze and looking at something that is extremely pretty and attractive and in this case a female who is a just drop dead gorgeous woman fictional or real and so we still have a lot of questions about this movie and what it will turn out to be but we are hearing from the star herself matilda lutz that uh you know the new film is going to be very women empowered and she's also slamming the source material for being made with a very male gazed orientation and whenever you hear about the stars attacking the source material you know you're in for a rough time uh we have of course captain marvel Brie Larson, who did that. We had Tatiana Mullaney doing that with She-Hulk, and now we have Matilda Lutz seemingly doing it with Red Sonia. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.